What's up, everybody? This is Mad Bomber from Mad Bomber Gaming, and today I want to talk about. I wanted to discuss pretty much how to rank up in Overwatch, in solo queue especially, because a lot of times in solo queues it can be it can be kind of hard to get in a how do I say this into a good competitive game where you got good teammates and everybody's working together. But it's not always all about the teammates. Sometimes it's mostly about you. You as the individual player sitting at your computer, your PC, or your console, and you're like, oh, I want to rank up, I want to rank up. But, you know, it's like you don't know how to rank up exactly, and you're just sitting here you're like, man, I'm losing all the time, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. You're getting frustrated, this and that. The way you rank up in Overwatch is, it's kind of, I don't want to say it's a simple concept, but it's a concept to where it's like, most likely... The first thing, the tip number one, the first thing you have to do in Overwatch is be flexible. You really need to be flexible and you need to know how to play multiple characters between the three categories. Support, tank, and DPS. You need to know how to play all of them. Not all characters, but at least two characters in each category. Simply because you can't base your gameplay and be like, oh, well, I'm just going to play 76 this whole time. Well, I'm going to play Roadhog this whole, you know every time you go into competitive because you're never going to win I mean you may win a couple games but it's like sometimes I mean we all know in solo queue you have those games where it's like you have people that are sitting back and they're like well they're not gonna change they're gonna play whatever they're gonna play and you're just gonna be stuck with it like you're gonna have that person who's gonna troll you and play Sombra or you're gonna have that person who's gonna troll you and they're gonna play you know uh, Hanzo or they suck at Genji or they're not good at McCree or something like that and and no, it's not fair to the team for that person to just to be stuck on that to be stuck on that character or that hero. But sometimes you have to know, you have to understand that, hey, all right, that's perfectly fine. If you want to play that character, then you know, if everybody on the team wants to play a DPS, we need support. You can't necessarily win a game without support. So you have sometimes you as the person you have to look at yourself and say you know what I'm going to be the one to be flexible and say you know what I'll play a support I'll play a tank no I want to tank you be like well I'll just jump on diva or if nobody wants to play Ryan then you jump on Reinhardt and you may have to do that and you may not like it and but this is what it is sometimes you have to do that sometimes you have to suck it up and say well I'll play Reinhardt I'll play Mercy I'll play Lucille I'll play Anna I'll play Diva, you know. And then if you if you if you're a, a DPS main, you know that's good. If you want to play 76, cool. I know I was in a game earlier and people like Fair was killing us, but I was playing support. I like hey, somebody needs to switch. They switched to a DPS, took out Fair. Sometimes you got to do that. Sometimes you got to take out. Sometimes you got to take the bullet. You gotta you gotta put your pride aside and do what's best for the team. That's like the overarching thing of this video also. It's like doing what's best for the team. Because if you don't do what's best for the team, then most of the time you can't win a team sport. You have to be selfless. You have to say, you know what? What I want isn't as isn't the team is more important than me. You know, that's that's what being flexible is all about. It's putting the team above your personal feelings. If you're not if you feel a certain type of way, that's perfectly fine, but you have to look at it and say, you know what? I'll do what's best for the team, and then if you win, you win. If you don't, you don't. But you can sit here and say, you know what? I did what was best for the team, and we'll do better next time. Tip number two is sometimes, I guess, you know, sometimes I would say tip number two would be be a shot caller. And I don't say be a shot caller and saying that you're telling everybody in the team what to do because a lot of times in solo queue what you get is you get people who are very toxic and they have an attitude and they don't want to hear what you have to say. Sometimes you kind of have to just say, you know what? Hey, who has the ult? Or you have to look at it. Look at the um, look at the screen and say who has the ult, and you figure it out. If you're playing 76 and Anna has the ult, you can say Anna, can I get the nano boost? Just simple as that. Sometimes you just have to ask. You have to be i don't want to say be nice about it well yeah be nice about it but i don't want you to, you know you don't want to seem like you're just asking like oh my god give me this or whatever you know but sometimes you just need to be a shot caller hey we need to focus on diva hey we need to focus on ryan shield people they listen even though they don't they don't you don't think they're listening they're listening and if you're shooting at ryan shield 
We need to take down the shield. We need to we need to watch out for this road hog. Sometimes if you're the only person communicating, then that can also win you a game because it brings awareness to that. And then if they turn you off, then they turn you off, and there's nothing you can do. But you just need to know that you did your best. Tip number three is play support. Get good at support. All support heroes. Get good at those because sometimes people just don't want to play it. And sometimes you have those people who need, like you have a per somebody who's just going to play Mercy. And you may need to play Zen or you need to play Lucio or Ana. So you need to get better. You need to get good at those characters too. Don't just get good at the tanks and DPS. Play support. Support is very, 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 very important. I keep telling people that all the time. You need to know how to play the support he support heroes. If you don't know how to play the support heroes, then you're kind of just shit out of luck. You're just wasting your time because you can go into a fight and if somebody has like a Lucio and your team doesn't, you're gonna lose. If somebody has a Mercy and you don't, you're gonna lose. If you have no support whatsoever, you're going to lose. I mean, that's just, that's all there is to it. You're going to lose every single time. And people can say what they want to say, do what they want to do. You're going to lose. Just simple as that. Team comp is huge all the time. You know, and people, you know, they, they always get that whole feeling like, oh, I don't want to do this. I don't want to do that. You know, whatever, whatever. And the next tip I have for you is identify team composition. You know, Know that, you know, if somebody, you know, you can't have, you can't always have what you want. You know, somebody's playing Reinhardt and you're a really good Reinhardt, you know, you just have to play something else. You have to, like, it, it goes back to being flexible. You know, I think, I think in Overwatch, the overall, you know, the overall thing is to be flexible. You know, play multiple characters, play different roles, know how to do everything. Because in, when you're in solo queue, you're in it by yourself. You have no team. Unless you have an established team, then that's a different, then you know your role. But when you play solo queue and you play by yourself, you kind of have to know how to do everything because you never know what you're going to be able to do, or you're never you're never gonna you never know what you're gonna have to do. You have to be flexible in solo queue, and that's just number one. To rank up in competitive solo queue is to be flexible. You know, you can play this character, play this character, play this hero that do this and do that. You know, play this role, play that role. You have to be flexible regardless. And if you're not a flexible person, then you're not going to rank up in, in competitive unless you play with a team. So you have to do that. You know, and also, uh, the next tip I have for you is know when to back away from a fight also. If you, if you notice that three of your teammates have died, get on the mic and say, we need to back off and regroup. Because if you go into a fight 3v5 or, you know, 3v6, you're going to lose. The odds are too, you know, you, you got, the, odds, the odds are not in your favor at that point. You need to know when to back off and say, hey, this is not my fight. Back off, back back up to, you know, get closer, wait till your teammates respawn. Or just jump off the map so you can, you know, your y'all everybody's respawn can, can be, you know, closer together. You know, do what you have to do, but don't just sit there and, and, and dive in and give that, give the enemy team that ultimate charge because if you give them the opportunity to charge the oats then you're most likely going to lose the next tip i have for you is try to combo your oats if you can don't do azaria and ryan oh that's just dumb do azaria and Farah, or zaria and tracer zaria diva ryan diva things like that because Sometimes, you know, like I said, you just, like, and it goes back to being flexible again, you know, just going back and say, hey, I want to do this. Zarya, can you, when you drop your ult, let, you know, when Zarya drops her ult, you go, like, if you're playing Pharaoh 76, pop your ult, kill, get a team kill, bam, done. It's sometimes, it's, it can be just that simple. You just have to pay attention in solo queue. You have to be very aware of your surroundings also, you know, and... When it comes when it comes to people in solo queue, sometimes you get good teams, sometimes you don't. It's like a toss up a lot of times because you never know. Like some people are good at this, some people are good at that. You never know. And when you're in these lower ranks, sometimes people get pissy about about you know you playing whatever it is you're playing, and you may just have to. Sometimes you might just have to bite the bullet and and you know do what you have to do. Some people are toxic and they're going to say, oh, you suck and we lost because you played this hero or we lost because this teammate played this hero, whatever the case may be. And then you just have to keep a positive attitude about it and, you know, this and that. 
you know that brings me to the next is being positive and having fun being positive is is a huge thing i played i played the other day and it was this guy you're gonna see the video and he was probably the most positive overwatch player i have ever seen ever heard ever had ever had the opportunity to play with and it was great because you know, I think it was one of those things where, like, you know, we all knew what we were supposed to do, but he was just like, come on, guys, we got this, we're going to kick the ass, and blah, 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 you know, this is all good, whatever, whatever, let's play the game. And he was a great person. I, you know, so sometimes you have to be that person, too. I know you, I know what I'm saying, you have to put a lot of hats on when you're playing solo queue Overwatch, and I mean, sometimes you, you kind of have to, and... I hate for that to be. I hate. I hate to say that that you have to wear a lot of hats when you play Overwatch, but you have to be in solo queue. You have to be well rounded, whether you want to be or not. You know, if you want to rank up, you have to be well rounded. You have to know how to play multiple heroes. You have to know how to play multiple roles, and that's just all there is to it. And sometimes it sucks. Sometimes you know you might not. You might be like, man, I don't want to do this. I don't want to play this hero or whatever. But sometimes you might. You just have to suck it up. And then it's just like my last tip is if you when you you go on streaks when you play competitive solo queue, I've noticed this like you'll go on like a, a two or three game win streak and then you'll go on like a and then if you continue playing you may keep going up that win streak then you may lose. You never know in solo queue. So it's like for me, I try and play like two or three matches at a time, whether I win or I lose. If I lose, you get frustrated. Nobody likes to lose. I'm not going to sit here and say that, oh, man, losing is fine, and we're going to give you all 8th place trophies because fuck that, man. This is competitive. You're playing for rank. You're playing, you know, people are going to sit here and say that, oh, you know, rank doesn't matter. Fuck that, man. I'm going to tell you like this. If you're playing competitive, your rank matters. If it doesn't matter, then you will play quick playing arcade. So don't, don't ever, I don't. Stylosa can say this all day. Oh, your rank doesn't matter. You know, all these fucking big YouTubers can say your rank doesn't matter. But if it didn't matter, then you wouldn't play. If your rank didn't matter, you wouldn't play rank. In the discussion. If it didn't matter, you would play for fun. If your rank didn't matter, there wouldn't be competitive gaming. There wouldn't be pros. If your rank didn't matter, Blizzard wouldn't have put competitive mode in there. So rank does matter. That's why we play competitive. It's because the rank matters. We want to win. You don't want to fucking lose. Who the fuck wants to go into a competitive game and lose? That's that's kind of stupid. So, your rank does matter. Don't throw your rank away with saying that. You know, your rank does matter. So, with saying it, don't throw it away. You know, understand that, alright, this rank is, you know, it's precious to you. Whether you're in bronze or top 500. It's precious to you. You know, you don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose. Nobody wants to be a loser. So that's just that's just how it is. You nobody wants to be a fucking loser. So it's like once you start, if you go on like a loser, if you lose like two, one or two games, step away from it. Take a break. Go outside. Smoke a joint. Do whatever it is you do. Relax. You know. Sometimes I have to turn the just exit out of the game. Go play something else or walk away. Go play with my kids and come back, and then go back to playing Overwatch. But it's not always about continually playing over and over and over and over, then you go and lose. That's what happened to me. My rank got up to 1888, and I was like, oh, I'm going on my way to gold. And then I lost, and 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 I lost. I think I won like a like a 10-game losing streak, after one after another, and I just got pissed off, and I wanted to stop playing Overwatch, but that's not how you do things. You have to take a break once you go on like a two or three-game losing streak. Take a break. Step away from the game, relax, chill. Because remember, this is always about having fun. The main thing in, the, in gaming is to have fun. If you're not having fun, you need to stop playing, revive what you're doing, and then come back. Always remember that. Don't ever get frustrated to the point where you're like, fuck this, and you want to break your keyboard. With saying that, I'm going to end this video. This was Mad Bomber. If you like the video, hit the like. If you like the channel, subscribe, because we got more discussion videos and more things coming. Thank you so much.